Hey guys, in this vlog today, uh, I'm gonna go through building a dog fence for these guys out of prefab um, chain link fence panels. It's pretty cool. We do that brief tangent when I show you my buddy's truck, which is wild. And uh, here we go. This is after the fact. Um, it's a fence, it works. Enjoy. Hey guys, Armin Ranch here with another adventure in adulting. Uh, today we're tackling the problem with the dogs in a different way. We're going to confine it. <sighs> this way the dogs don't need to be inside and outside. They can both be outside in separate fenced areas. So a um, local hardware-ish store had a sale on some galvanized um, chain link fence panels. So I bought 20. And that will allow me to do two pretty big pens. I can also take advantage of this natural retaining wall-ish thing that's over here. That's pretty tall. It's like the boards are like six feet tall. I'm okay. They're five and a half feet tall. Um, and I'm going to run back to this part right in here. Those guys have an in-ground fence, so they naturally won't even pass it anyway. So I'm going to have a nice air gap of about 15 feet. And then I'll have a nice pen for our dogs here. I can take advantage of the house and I can run it around um, basically to the edge of the house over there. And then I can let them down the little deck door over there and pop them in here. And I can run that gate all the way back through here to probably the end of the fence where it drops down to a lower height. And that'll give the dogs a nice big area to run. Um, meanwhile, those dogs, they already have a bit of a kennel-ish thing. It's just, it's eight by 12 or something. And these are two big puppies. Hey, Diesel, hi, buddy. You guys are feeling all better from the, the porcupining? I have an update, yes, they are both alive and well. Um, so that's good. It's been an expensive freaking week for the dogs. For me, because of the dogs. So anyways, it is what it is. There is my buddy's truck, or my buddy's truck. Uh, and those are the 14 of the panels. I took as many as they had ready. I'll get the rest later. Well, and they're, they're doing their thing. Um, so I'll show you quickly where I'm gonna put their pen. pen. Also, there's a very, uh, a very cool um, dog house buried in the hill over there. I'll talk about that another time. That would be really cool to incorporate though. But I think we're too slopey over here to make use of that fence and panels. But what's tempting? It's tempting, but also the propane tank is there. So maybe I just won't bother. Um, by the way, what do you think of this truck? This truck is freaking wild. I should probably do a video on it as well. But he uh, just got it done. And the reason these are all strapped on top is because I got there and I found out the tailgate doesn't work. And it's Ford and it's got a power tailgate. So of course there's no manual release unless I pull apart a bunch of the stuff on the inside of the panel and then manually fiddle with it and then it goes. But that wasn't happening. As it was, I had to break in through the, through the uh, whatever you want to call it, the little tonneau cover. So fun fact, that's also possible. But yeah, this is the Fab Four 40s with no lift. Um, though it does have like a four inch lift or something on it, but they look ridiculous. Look at those. Those are legitimately 40 inch tires and uh, they're just ridiculous, but they're very cool. Low ride noise, the Nitto grapplers or something like that. And yeah, it's freaking awesome. Freaking awesome truck, but there are some gremlins, some electrical gremlins in it. Anyways, this has been a tangent. Let's go see where we're gonna do their pen. Ta-da, right here. Actually, maybe it's a little bit bigger than, maybe it's like 10 by 10, something like that. But they have a pen right here, again, 10 by 10 by six. There's another dog house here, and I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that this is basically all level. And I did clear this out. This again was an area that was mostly liberated by myself from the tall grass. There's still some tall grass, but there's much less tall grass. And as at this point, that lawnmower quit. Also, I found out I was a dummy with the lawnmower, but more on that in maybe next week's video because it runs better now and I was just being an idiot the way I was using it because it wasn't set up to do the, what I was... Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna build, I'm gonna clean up this junk. There's some broken siding. I don't know why there's broken siding here, but we'll clean that out, clean up a little bit more around in there and I'll just do some fence panels. We'll build out around there, come out a bit, come over across, maybe around these uh, well things, drinking things. Come up a bit, 
and then scoot across to the fence and that'll be a pen for these guys during the day. These guys are gonna be able to run around all evening, but this way they can do their thing during the day out here. It's shaded. It'll give them multiple places for shelter. And yeah, they're they're somewhat confined in about a you know a thousand square foot pen here. The other dogs will be confined in a thousand fifteen hundred square foot pen over there on the other side of the house. And then if any of them get out, well, there's redundancy because they both have to get out for there to be a catastrophic meltdown. And uh, there will be a natural barrier for if these guys get out, they'll still stay away from those dogs because they don't go over there because of the electrical fence, which they think still works. I'm not 100%. Right now it's turned off because I turned it off when I took them to the vet because I left their collars on. I didn't want them to get buzzed as we went over the line. Anyways, that's the current thing. We're going to get this unstrapped. Oh yeah, so tangent, sorry. I will continuously get lost in tangents and then have to circle back. So how do you strap six foot wide panels over a box of a truck that you can't access? So yeah, fun fact, we can't get inside there I can't access, there's multiple tie down points inside the back of the truck, the bed of the, the box, the bed, whatever. They're not accessible from the moment you put the first panel on. So I used four independent straps, hooked one in here. Now this is the tricky part, I had to hook it in and then fish it through. And they kept falling off inside because they lose tension and they'd slack it off and they'd fall off. But I basically had to get one hooked around each one with the first panel on and then bring it around and loop it around so that it kind of held tension with the first panel. And then every subsequent panel that we put on, I would loop it around and have it, you know, catch through. So I'd put a panel on, run around, strap it all the way around. And then I got lazy, so it was every two, and then eventually it was every three. And then we had all 14 panels on. And I had four independent ratchet strap tails all the way up to the top. Then what I did was, power tailgates are freaking the boom diggity. Um, I took the one common ratchet strap, fed both tails through it, and strapped it up. And guess what? It worked. It worked really well. So I was excited about that. That was like heat of the moment. The guy's like, dude, you have 10 minutes and then I'm locking these gates. So I was like, frick. Also, he was BSing me. We had like 25. Um, anyways, I had to hustle. And then once we got that in, I got those done up. I drove out to the front parking lot and outside of the compound. And then I threw some extra straps on because it was still, I wanted to secure the entire load top to bottom to itself. So I just fished things around and did that. So I did that in three spots. And then I felt that it was, I drove down the road, checked it. I did it in two spots, drove down the road, checked it. The back was balancing a bit. So I added one more in the back and that was it. That was good. We were good the rest of the way. So, um, I don't know what I can tell you. It's just, Look at this truck, it's freaking cool. But he still has to do the lights and the winch. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Mm. Crab Appley. Uh, that's what about, right? All right, I'm gonna strap it. And the wife is gonna help me. We're gonna carry some over there. We're gonna carry some over there and we're gonna see if this works. Ah, oh, a little sweaty. Okay, now you can see exactly what I did here. So, on the other side, I looped it through, looped it around, tied it off. Same thing down there, same thing over here. So I just made it tight, and then I had straps on all four sides, all four corners, and two ends met in the middle. Use one ratchet to feed them both through and uh, tighten it up. And it all right, so here you can see loosely what I'm doing for the German Shepherds. They've got the little house here, they've got the house there. And I got five panels here. Um, I still need to get six more that were short. So once I have all the panels, I'll basically be able to just extend this back another 60 feet and give them this whole depth way far down to like down there. So that'll be their little spot. All right, and there we go. Pretty simple concept. Barking buggers. So basically this just drops on. There's a little clamp that ties these two together and I'm gonna be chopping up and zip tying some four by four mesh, like animal fence, uh, along the bottom because my dogs are diggers. Boom. 
Done. Not bad. Not bad. So that's it to secure it to that point over there. Again, do my anti-digging mesh. And then finish this side over here, which will just be that side secured, this side secured at some point, and then just bow it out in the middle until she meets, and that's it. All right, and for securing this thing, my plan is to just get some pipe clamp or whatever and hose clamp or whatever, just anchor it to this big post, a couple spots. On this side, I'm actually planning to drive, assuming I can, a big uh, T-bar with anchor down a little bit and then just fasten right there. Might do another one in the center, but I do plan long-term on moving this one out to just pass that door. That way it'll make it much easier to let the dogs in and out is if I can access that door. Rather than messing around with having one of these panels slightly open that I can open and shut and let them in and out. So for now, that's what I'm going to have to do. But long term, we're going to come up with something a little more simple. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a pain. Huh. That's the second time trying that. I tried that a second ago and then I was like, wow, it works. We have light. Never turned that on before. Um, that's my almost genuine reaction. I did the same thing the first time. Anyways, huh, welcome to all my crap and also all of the seller's crap that was left here. So again, I will take credit for some of it. Some of it is mine. Some of it, most of it is not. I'm in here looking for something that I can use to screw or strap those panels uh, into the wall. And also just if I should happen to find a T-post, that would be wonderful. But I kind of don't think I'm going to find T-posts. That would be too handy. Um, hey, Turb. Hi, Turbo. Turby boy. All right. Well, there's lots of stuff. I'm going to see what I can find and we will go back to the fence. Frickin' jackpot. Now these are a little bit smaller diameter, um, but they'll bend. They'll bend and they will work for now. And I'm probably gonna use this to secure something to the deck. And that might be all of them. If I could find two more things, that'd be great because I'd like to have two fasteners per pole. But if I only have one, that will potentially get us through. And I just used this wicked old vise that literally attaches to the freaking floor. Uh, kind of cool. To kind of form the metal open a little bit bigger. So there was the original and that's what we have now, which is gonna work even better. All right, here's me plunder. Chain, some wire. Some washers and chain links on these two little guys. But let's make this work. Oh, look at that view. Friggin' gorgeous. Hey, Turb. A wild bid has emerged. Um, anyways, this side right here, it's a little bit uneven. So I gotta dig this down a little bit. And then, yeah, secure that guy on there with those, which I'm now realizing is going to be trickier than I thought because the chain link is going to be in the way. Well, I'll figure it out. All right, I mean, it's not, it's not amazing, but uh, it'll hold, it'll hold for now. Janky, but once again, we're holding for now. We'll get proper hardware later. We just need this to work for now. All right, here's a hack. I ran out of screws. Um, but I want it to be right here anyway, so I'm just gonna pop up a deck screw, fasten down my little rig, pass the wire up through there so I can hook up to this guy and that'll secure the other end of the fence. And look at that sunset. Wow. Gorgeous. Once again, janky, yes, but is it gonna work? You betcha. All right, so far, so good. Argo is penned up inside there, and uh, these guys are just chilling. Of course, I think that's another future project, is uh, mounting that thing properly. Um, good girl. Good girl, girl, bro. Wait, easy. Come on, girl. Come on. Argo's fine. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Nice girl. Good, good. Good girl. just wants to play. It's okay, Dizzy. It's okay. Go puppies. Oh, wow, this is progress. Good boy. Good boy. Hi, huh? Diesel. Turbo's chill. Diesel is a little noisy, and Argo is so far being good. We haven't had any growls yet, so count that as a success. But just yeah, pee on everything, why don't you? 
All right, so as you can see, I did choose to end up putting the fence back there instead of over here. That was because I wanted to access this door. I just didn't want to deal with messing around on the other side. It just wasn't going to be worth it. Yes, the dogs occasionally face off over here, but you know what? They have to just deal with their stuff. They got to dish it out. So they're doing that. It's fine. Um, by the way, this is how I've addressed my dog's digging problem. In the past, I've done something very similar. It worked. This is just a simpler version. It's just taking this mesh and uh, literally cutting uh, about 28 inch strips. It's five feet long. The fence panels are 10 feet, loops wrong way, 10 feet wide. So I do two strips per fence. Literally, I just cut it. I cut it right up here. So there's a thing I can wrap all the way around and that's literally all I do. I just bought a nice little five foot tall by a hundred foot long uh, roll of fence. And that did everything. So that was my fence. It's working so far. We'll see how things go. I'll catch you in the next week. The next week's pretty fun. Um, just finished that project up tonight with my buddy. So I'll have a video on that. It's, it's pretty wild. We've got uh, an eye in the sky now. So it's pretty cool.